What's going on guys? Deathwatch Gaming back with another video for you guys today. Today I'm playing Leona the Sun Warrior in support role. Now I see my Orn video got a lot of views. Please be sure to like, please be sure to comment, please be sure to subscribe. Let me know that I'm doing good, let me know what you guys want to see so I can keep making these awesome videos. So, Leona, very old school support, probably actually one of the original champions if I remember correctly. And I know a lot of you are probably going to think to say, Leona, that's kind of an unusual pick for this kind of meta. And yes, I'll admit, she, she hasn't really aged well, unfortunately, with all the new champions coming out. But I actually think she's really more viable than people give her credit for, simply because they don't take advantage of what she does. Now, Leona is the Sun Warrior. She's a basically female priestess battle sister, if you will, of the Sun God. So the thing is, though, is she carries around this heavy set of armor, this giant shield, and this giant sword. And she's not a very big individual, so as you can imagine, she moves slower than frickin' molasses. So as you can see, once she catches you, you're kind of screwed. So that's kind of the thing with her. She's very heavy, she's very slow, but she has a ton of CC if she catches you. So that's kind of ultimately the rule here. Why would I pick this in this game? Well, if you look at it, we have a fair amount of squishies. Zack and Kennen are nice. Zack can survive a lot and kind of go in with us. Kennen can provide some decent CC. And then kind of looking at them, they also have a lot of good high damage squishy champions. So ultimately, I said to myself, well, I kind of need someone that's going to survive through the fights and hopefully kind of act as a giant meat shield just so my team can out damage them and even slow them down a little bit. A good example of people like this, for example, would be perhaps Tom Kent, Set, Nautilus, Thresh, people of that nature would probably be very good here. Although, again, I would rather prefer more of the CC and the tank emphasis and the damage emphasis, so I probably would stick to someone a bit more like Nautilus or Tom Kench. So, Leona's passive, basically, whenever I hit an enemy with one of my abilities, I leave a mark of sunlight. When an ally attacks them, it activates the sunlight proc, dealing extra magic damage. Leona's Q is called Shield Bash. I basically smack them with my giant shield right here, stunning them for a fair amount of time. One second, dealing magic damage. Leona's W is basically, I get a nice little shield of light around me. You'll see it when I activate it. It provides armor and magic resistance. After a few seconds, the shield expires blowing a array of light around me, dealing magic damage. In my E, I extend this sword to a fair amount of distance, and if I catch the last thing on, if I catch anything with it, I stun it. Now immediately I go to the last thing, so you want to try and line this up where you're always hitting the enemy champion, otherwise you're going to fix it. Takes a little bit of time to get used to this range, you're definitely going to have to practice this. I'm going to be maxing my Q first because at the end of the day I want the stun to be longer than possible. I'm not going to be focusing on my E as much because I really don't need it. And again, my ultimate goal here is just to survive long enough to get one of them out. Because now, as you see, I am definitely going to hurt them. Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted here. Chosen of the sun. I do not like this. Uh, I kind of wish Miss Fortune could finish that off, but unfortunately she can't. Zach's coming, so I may be tempted to stick around in this. I do not like that we don't know where Bard is. Um, hmm, now Zach's walking off. Okay, that's important. There we go, boys. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So you'd be surprised at how much damage Leona can actually deal, especially early on. But again... Mostly, I'm going for this EQ combo. I always activate the dog beforehand, that way the resistance is up when I jump in with my EQ. As you can see, it helped me survive a lot of things, as you can see. I'm really kind of the all-in champion. I really don't have anything to kind of say, okay, let's pump the brakes. Like, let me catch my breath here, let me get away. The only thing I really have to get away is my flash. Or oh, maybe my ultimate, but I'm not going to dump my ultimate very rarely. So my ultimate, basically, I call down a beam of sunlight. You're going to see the circle of this like a Zerath ultimate thing. And if they get stuck in it, they deal a lot of magic damage and are stunned. If they're around the end, if they're around the edges, they get slowed for 80%. Still pretty damn good in my opinion. Oh, what are we doing here, boy? Well, I guess I can come around if you really want me. 
And again, I don't really survive anything, so this is going to be kind of difficult for me. Yeah, as you see, I can only, I just have to run away. That's basically all I can do. Oh no. Yeah, I might, I might be screwed here considering the boys ran away from me. I'm going to go ahead and try and risk it all and go back to the, go back to over here. Yeah, okay. I thought LeBlanc would come around and gank me there. But yeah, so ultimately, I think Leona is, if not, probably one of the tankiest champs in the entire game. I am going to get Sunfire Cape just because at the end of the day, why would you not? I know Team Who deals magic damage, I'm going to be getting my classic Abyssal Mask combo, my Sunfire Cape Abyssal Mask combo to deal with that. But Sunfire Cape first because Kindred seems to like to come around a fair bit. And I'm worried about Wukong coming down. And yeah, it looks like this team was actually going... Okay, he's still going AP. I don't know. I don't know what the heck this Bard is building. I don't know why he would build Resolve. Bard's not really known for his tankiness. But yeah, I feel like Sunfire Cape is super helpful because at the end of the day, I get to deal passive damage when I'm near them. So, considering Leona, I stun them so much, it's kind of a no-brainer that I should get that. I know technically, I know it's not like, I should probably should be building magic resistance first, but at the end of the day, passive damage kind of outweighs the survivability, considering I already have a lot of inherent survivability. I'm going to be maxing the X as my E. You can go the W first if you really feel that you need the extra survivability. If so you're new to Leona, I definitely recommend maxing the W first. That way you have the most resistance possible when you want to make these plays. As you can see here, you you really do kind of have to go, like, <laughs> thread the needle here. You really have to thread the freaking needle to play Leona. So yeah, definitely recommend maxing the W first for people who are new to her. And I'm going to go ahead and back off this since we kind of not, we didn't really mess that up just at the end of the day, I don't really know, I don't think this MF was really kind of expecting me to go all in there or ready or whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I don't get this. If I can catch Chimu, that might be worth it, but yeah, I feel like MF's kind of just saying, okay, like, let's back off, let me farm, do my thing. I'm not really getting a heavy engage vibe from her. I do not know where Chimu is. There he is. Here she comes to save the day! You guys don't know where that's from, that's from uh, Liar Liar. It's a pretty funny movie, Jim Carrey. It's pretty old though, so. Oh no, the team of the I am probably gonna go ahead and pick up my level 9 thing when I get back, if I can get back before level 9 to help clear team of shrooms because they are annoying. I'm not really sure. What are you doing though? Oh, you're carrying on Vision Ward. I'm trying to keep an eye on them any map see where this Kindred and this Wukong is because in the end of the day, Wukong is uh, bad news for me. I am not really sure if we're getting into kind of an engaged vibe here. I just did that kind of proactively because I assumed he would go in on me. What's the numbers here? Okay, yeah, so, ooh, she died. What'd she die to? Oh, yeah, she got kind of overdeveloped there. I'm gonna go ahead and smack him like so. He's going to be massive hurt here. And go ahead and knock both of them up and kill them painfully. Because that's what I do, boys. So, yeah, that required some serious finessing right there. I'm not trying to toot my own horn. But, yeah, if you really can learn how to set this up just right, you could actually make some really big plays. I highly doubt it. We're going to go ahead and smack this because I do have resolve and at the end of the day the turret killing is very nice. Get some plates. Nice plates. Uh, we do have the cloud drake. That's going to be kind of helpful considering I get my cooldown reduced more. I think I have enough for... No, I don't. So I do have enough to buy the components plus boots. Boots are going to be super helpful. I think I'm going to go with Merc Treads just because of all the CC they got going on here. Yeah, I'm probably going to do uh, Merc Treads actually. I'll just pick them straight up out of the gate. I was going to buy like the Ruby cart and the chain mail, but at the end of the day, I feel like Merc Treads are more important, especially with Timu and Bard, especially with the silence and the fact that they're both magic users, and I already got some armor in case Kindred and Wukong decide to come around. How are we doing? Okay, that's, wow. Uh, 
I did not realize that. Wow. Wow. Yeah. No, uh, that's, that's something. I'll give him that. As you can see, pretty much walk up, tank that, no biggie. I am going to hope that they are stupid. And why I say that is, I was, I'm hoping that they're going to try and take me under tower, where I can just stun them and let the turret take their lovely lives. Oh no, that's a lot. Yeah, no, I am going to start doing some little practice work. Oh. Uh. No, no. Well, I did get what I wanted. Okay, back off, back off, back off. I don't know how that works, but I'm glad it did. I have no idea how I did that, but I'm glad I did it. <laughs> ah, that was that was fun, boys. That was that was really really fun. I I definitely enjoyed myself doing that. <laughs> Somehow I seem to be getting all the kills too, which probably is pissing off my ADC to no end. But uh, hey, it's more price to pay. Am I right? Will soon fall. I'm gonna go ahead and break this. Kinda just did that because I knew Zach was still yeah, around. I knew MF was kinda looking for it. We got that brainwave connection going on. I have enough for my Sunfire Cape. I might back here pretty soon, considering we got the Drake up and their death timers are reset. And Lebonk's probably not too happy that I managed to Rochambeau her. Just saying. Yeah, plus turret plating is down. down. I am down for this. I just have like zero to no mana. Fortunately, though, I do have this. And that's probably going to be big help if they come to side two. And looks like Bard is not, but LeBlanc is. So run away, please. I back up you. Or down. That works too. Yeah, no, I do not want to fight for that. I do not want to fight for that. <laughs> Ever. I'm gonna go ahead and go back in my Sunfire Cape just because the other day more health, which is very nice. Armor is kind of nice considering I'm facing a Kendra to Wukong and the burning effect. The burning effect is huge considering, again, my whole thing is I'm get, I get close to them and CC them. So the natural magic damage, natural logical conclusion. Hope you guys are doing okay. I know the we're still kind of in a weird spot. Really bad spot, I should say, actually. Next item, probably gonna build a Bissell Mask. Definitely gonna get focused on that for the nice MR. Again, some of you are probably looking at me and saying, why did you not build M MR first, knowing you were finding a Bard and a Timu? And my answer to that is very simple. I've already went over it. At the end of the day, I do believe. You can see, deal a fair bit of damage to Mr. Moo over there. Mr. Moo. Gotta wait for the minion wave to go first to clear out any shrooms. Rally to me. Get out the bard. Let him know Mr. Moo is over there. You know what I mean? What? Mr. Moo. The soul is the soul the cold and fearless. You've got termites in your smile. I don't know how that's if it goes. If anybody wants to let me know in the comment sections, I would gladly do it. I do not like this voice. Yeah, they did. Okay. How did I kill him? That's what I did. Whatever. Hi. Clearly, I am just God Leona over here because I can kill people without even needing to kill them. <laughs> I am. <laughs> uh, bow down to me. I am the new God support. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my W to reduce the damage of the shroom. You can actually do that too. It's really beneficial. Again, let the minions go first. Start a shroom here nearby. 
Use my resolve, we're probably gonna get this power at this rate. If not, I can tank it. I don't really mind tanking a little bit. And then my ADC is getting nice and fed, although she's getting a ton of supports, but just get a fair amount of CS. I feel like that's a nice trade off. I'm gonna go ahead and back here. I think I'm gonna. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I don't like this simply because I don't know where the rest of the laners are. And oh my god, misfortune. I'm gonna get some decent souls too. Six, not bad. Uh, a little bit lower than my average. I'll have to get a soul every two minutes. That's ideal. Sometimes, though, it's just not possible. I'm gonna go ahead and get this first. Definitely was tempted to get this first just because of the sustainability, but... The other day, now it should be about equal. Yeah, because that's 60 armor. This is, what, 65 MR, so I have a nice equal amount of MR and magic resistance. MR and armor. At the end of the day, as you can see here, my passive gains for the armor and MR on my W actually work with how much MR and armor I have. Plus, I don't know if you noticed, but we have some decent magic damage on our team, but not as much as I wanted us to. I kind of had a feeling this though wasn't going to do good, so I'm like, okay. That way a lot of, um, attack damage tank supports, I think about it. If really any. Yeah, so, kind of, kind of pigeonholed there. Uh, Bard's over here. He's going to die painfully. Light him up. I'm gonna go ahead and ward the Drake like a good little support. Next time I go back, probably switch out my trinket. Um, hmm. We are definitely in a conundrum here. Uh, the Blanc's probably gonna rotate down. Question is, does she win on it? I go in on it. Did a fair amount of damage, got a little on a turn. Stonks. Oh no, boys, what are you doing? I can't take Kindred alone. And again, now I am just really freaking slow. I wonder if I can actually bait him into attacking me under tower. There goes the Bartle. Oh, I ran out of mana. Darn it! I ran out of frickin' mana. See, that's where this is also gonna come in. Uberly handy. Oh, so there. Well, hello there, my dog. Man, man, man. If I could save up, I could probably could nail them with this. I feel like that's wishful thinking at this point, though. Why would? No, I don't. Hmm. Hmm. We would need our jungler. And I don't really like how so pushing that because now Kindred and Hugh might come around. We have cannon. I don't know. This is a oh, come on! If you can finish that. So good. I out. Let's save her. Apparently, I do. That's the kind of guy I am. Noble girl. I guess. I guess I'm a girl. Hmm. All right. Start working on this. I highly, 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 highly doubt we're gonna see any contestants. Great. Yep. After though, we are completely open. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. Into wasting. I'm gonna go ahead and get this just because I definitely need something that gives me back mana. That's one of the downsides of Leona. You run out of mana uber quickly. Oh, where's the trinket thing? Oh, here we are. That way, clear enemy wards, clear enemy shrooms. And get a nice little permanent ward instead. Plus, the singer it gives me like three regular wards. Four, actually. 
I am debating about going in here just because it is Mr. Moo. Mr. Moo. How kind of you. Hmm, that was every Oh, cool. We used ignite there. There it is. Let's go ahead and shove a lane just because this tower isn't taken and pretty much every other first left wave tower is taken. I do not like the fact that Ken and so are just on the one hand army that uh this is the problem with a Blanc, I can't really engage on her. I highly doubt Zoe and Kennen are going to win that. I express strong skepticism. Just, I can say however I want. Uh, this is the part where they rotate on me, so you're going to get crap. That was actually pretty legit. So the irony is that Pard used his ult, and I used my ult. I go ahead and kill Teemo. That was just me being me, honestly. <laughs> I really did not need to. Pard used his ult, and I used my ult. Ugh, great. Almost have enough for my abyssal map. I think I do actually have enough for it. Yeah, I do. Mm. So, probably gonna back here just because. I don't really like the fact that their death timers are all down. I don't think I can use my resolve again, and this is gonna get pretty decent chip damage anyway. Probably about a third. Next item I'm gonna build Duke's Congruence. Duke's Congruence is uber helpful. Actually, gonna go Gargoyle Stun Stone Plate. My mistake, boys. Gonna go Gargoyle Stun Plate, then Duke's Congruence. Cargo Stone Point gives me 40 armor, 40 MR. At the end of the day, this increases to 80 when I have three or more enemies around me, and I can activate it to make myself bigger and get myself a ton of health. These congruence also uber helpful. Why? Because I can pair with an ally. When me or my ally uses our ultimate, we're around each other. We deal a frost storm around us that slows the deal Very helpful CC wise, as you can tell. Ha! Wow, I would hate to be you right now. <laughs> Alright, they surrendered. Uh, 6 and 0. Oh, they agreed. Wow, unanimous surrender. Alright, boys, this is my Leona gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next time.